Kia ora, I'm Lucy Lawless. I am an actress and an activist. In the history of the world, the total number of deaths from cannabis overdose, zero, ever. I'm just saying, something's wrong here. Even if we get rid of a black market, our whole world's gonna be safer, right? Plus we can get taxes, we can pour that back into education. If we stop treating cannabis use or all drug use as a criminal issue and start talking about it as a public health issue, uh, I think we're going to be a lot better off. When you hold up cannabis issues against alcohol-related issues, cannabis starts looking mighty good just from a data statistics point of view. I think we have got to look at our attitude to drugs in general and cannabis in particular and go, what we're doing doesn't work. Why aren't our laws based on empirical and um, academic data oh, from the knowledge base about it? Why, why isn't it based on that? Why is it based on some bloody ancient history and some prejudice? I'm in favour of a regulated market myself because you want to know what's in these things, just like labelling on the package of that bloody can of soup that you buy at the supermarket. I want to know what I'm consuming if I choose to consume it. And, um, and I want it to be taxed and I want it to be legit. The data's coming in and it's actually so much of a better product than people my age were ever allowed to think. To all politicians, I want to say do the right thing and shouldn't all your ministries be based on the best scientific evidence that we have. Who's pulling the strings? Like you'll get 10 different politicians saying, look, I'm not personally opposed to cannabis, but we're not gonna do anything about it. Well, if you're all not personally opposed, then why aren't we getting any traction on this issue? Decriminalize cannabis in New Zealand. There's a referendum coming up. Vote yes.